Sometimes as a game developer you have to deal with a couple of tasks that you really don't want to deal with and I already know that tomorrow is going to be one of those days. I for my part have to rework the safe load system of Islanders tomorrow which is completely tedious and annoying. How do you deal with those annoying tasks that you don't really want to deal with as a game developer? <sighs> First of all, I think I'll get up early tomorrow and I'll start the day productively because then I already feel a lot better. I think it's a great way to avoid procrastination. Then the second thing I will do is I'll take breaks and I'll plan out when I take those breaks. For me personally, a rhythm that has really worked out well so far is working for two hours, then taking a one hour break, working for two hours, taking a one hour break. So I think I'll just do that tomorrow and if you do that then once again it avoids procrastination because you know exactly how long your breaks are supposed to be but at the same time taking breaks is important so you should absolutely do it and I think simply by planning out your breaks you can avoid both of those issues. You will still get enough downtime, but you will not start to procrastinate. Work goal-based and not time-based. If you say, I will work for 10 hours tomorrow or for 8 hours, something like that, then you have absolutely no incentive to work productively or to work faster because you already know you're gonna be there for 8 hours, for 10 hours and nothing you do will change anything about that. So I would say don't make it time-based. In the morning I will think about a reasonable goal for the day and once I reach that goal I will just stop working. At the very least that will encourage me to work productively and not waste my time. Work goal-based and not time-based. Just a little disclaimer that this is not general advice I'm giving. This purely applies to when you're trying to overcome annoying tasks that you don't want to deal with. For example, I'm pretty sure that working for a set amount of hours per day has its upsides as well under different circumstances. The fourth thing I will do is I will try to eliminate all distractions. I will definitely put my phone into a different room. I will not open Discord, I will not open YouTube, I will not open the internet except when I have to look something up. Um, I can do that, I'm allowed to do that during breaks of course, but during my two work hours I won't do any of that. If you work on something you don't want to work on, it is very easy to start procrastinating and social media is a high temptation for that, so no distractions. Tip number five is I think it's really important to get into the correct mindset. And that is that you want to do it. You don't have to get this done for your game, you want to get it done. Don't let your dreams be dreams, make your dreams come true. You really have to ingrain that in your head, see what's challenging, what's fun about this and just take it as a fun challenge. And actually now that I start thinking about it, yeah, actually there are some fun challenges to overcome. So I'll try my best to, to enjoy the process. <laughs> You also have to remember that you're doing this for yourself, you're doing this voluntarily. A better safe load system will just mean Islanders will run a lot more stably on a lot more systems, it will break less often, it will mean less frustration for players. And if I really imagine all of the benefits this change will have, then I already can feel myself getting a lot more motivated about implementing this. I'm hyped and I will do it, yes! Number six, it's obviously important to break problems down into smaller tasks. That's one of the tips you hear all the time, I feel like. That's because it is really important. Reworking the save load system is a giant task. I won't be able to pull that off in one day. So I'll have to break the problem down into smaller pieces, basically. And that way you can have that feeling of achievement more often when you finally manage to pull something off. And you can also see if you're still on the right track, you can see what you've already done, what's still missing. Makes it easier to work and makes it more motivating as well. So break your problems down into smaller tasks. The next tip I have for you is to give it your very best effort. After giving your very best, you'll always feel a lot better. No matter if you manage to pull it off in the end or if you fail, at the very least you try it. Whereas trying something half-heartedly and then failing just doesn't feel good. It feels like a waste of time. Even if you're dealing with a task that you don't want to deal with, Give it your very best. Let's get working! Yes! <laughs>
here for some reason we just have some flying garbage. Save island data into save files, load island data, it's clearly working, this is working, this is working. Nice, it is working. Uh, no, we'll close the game and launch it up again. Yes, nice. Um, this is something we have to check, check, check. And you're like in terms of the time invested. 13 o'clock, that's what it is now and that's what we managed to get done was a productive work session. I mean, it was only four hours, but very, very productive.